This time last year, do you remember when the FAA indefinitely extended the grounding of the Boeing MAX and announced that it would tighten oversight of Boeing after the mid-air fuselage failure? The MAX 9 was clamped down on its suppliers and it pushed for an independent organization to take over certain aspects of the safety certification of Boeing's new aircraft. So a year later, have the planes escaped the grip of America's top aviation agency? What will their future be? Find out in today's episode. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration announced that it will continue to maintain close supervision of Boeing indefinitely, according to Mike Whitaker, the agency's outgoing administrator. The decision was made after a serious incident occurred on January 5, 2024, when a door on an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 suddenly opened in midair due to four missing locking pins. The incident, which occurred during a commercial flight, raised serious concerns about safety standards in Boeing's manufacturing process. This incident not only shook confidence in the already controversial 737 MAX aircraft, but also forced the FAA to take drastic action. Whitaker immediately imposed a production limit of MAX aircraft to 38 per month. At the same time, he ordered the temporary suspension of operations of 170 aircraft for a comprehensive inspection to ensure that a similar situation does not occur again. The move not only reflected the severity of the incident, but also served as a stark warning that stricter standards were needed in the aviation industry. The fallout from the incident also extended to Boeing's top leadership. Then CEO Dave Calhoun was forced to step down after the company faced intense pressure from the agency, partner airlines, and the public. The incident not only highlighted Boeing's internal management flaws, but also exposed the long-term challenges of maintaining the balance between production efficiency and absolute safety. We have conducted an unprecedented number of unannounced audits, and we conduct monthly status reviews with Boeing executives to monitor progress. Our enhanced oversight is here to stay, Whitaker said in a statement ahead of the anniversary of the incident. In February, he issued a sweeping directive that required Boeing to implement a comprehensive improvement plan to improve quality and safety standards in its manufacturing processes. The decision came after he candidly admitted that, in the past, the FAA's oversight of Boeing had been too superficial and not thorough enough to detect and prevent potential problems. Whitaker's move was seen as a strong statement that the agency would not tolerate any slack in ensuring aviation safety. The improvement plan required Boeing to conduct a thorough review of its entire manufacturing process, from design to testing to actual deployment. At the same time, the company must also apply more stringent internal monitoring standards and improve its ability to respond quickly to problems that arise. He said this was not a one-year project. What is needed is a fundamental cultural shift at Boeing towards safety and quality over profits. And that will require sustained effort and commitment from Boeing and relentless oversight from the FAA. Following criticism and requests from the agency, Boeing has released a detailed update on its efforts to improve quality and safety in its manufacturing processes. The company has reportedly implemented new random quality audits to identify and address potential problems in the production line. Among the notable achievements is a significant reduction in the number of defects occurring during the 737 fuselage assembly process at supplier Spirit Aerosystems. This was achieved through the addition of additional inspection points and the implementation of a customer quality approval process that ensures every part is thoroughly tested before being assembled. Boeing asserts that these changes demonstrate its long-standing commitment to putting safety and quality first, while restoring the trust of customers and regulators. It is also part of a broader effort by the company to improve its supply chain partnerships, ensuring that every supplier adheres to strict safety standards. Meanwhile, Mike Whitaker, who has played a key role in pushing reforms at Boeing, said he would step down early, ending his term on January 20th, coinciding with President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration. President Trump's nominee for Secretary of Transportation, Sean Duffy, has also made clear his priorities for the aviation industry. In an interview with Reuters last month, Duffy said he would work to ensure we have safe airplanes from Boeing and pledge to continue to closely monitor the company's manufacturing processes to protect passengers. The statement sends a clear message that the new administration will not let up on maintaining the highest aviation safety standards and will continue to push Boeing to improve its performance and reputation 
in the global marketplace. In October, the FAA announced a new audit that will comprehensively review Boeing's manufacturing processes and standards. The audit is expected to provide insight into the progress Boeing has made and areas for continued improvement to meet the agency's stringent safety standards. Last month, Mike Whitaker held a key meeting with Kelly Ortberg, Boeing's new CEO, to discuss the company's ongoing turnaround and quality improvement efforts. He praised the new leadership team's commitment to rebuilding trust with both regulators and the public. The two sides are expected to have another meeting this month to continue discussing next steps, especially initiatives to optimize the 737 production process. One notable highlight that he praised was Boeing's cautious decision to wait a month after the mechanics strike before resuming 737 production. He said this was a positive move, demonstrating Boeing's top priority on quality and safety. In addition to the FAA, Alaska Airlines Audit and Quality Management Team also quickly conducted a comprehensive review of Boeing's control systems and production processes immediately after the incident. Alaska Airlines confirmed that they have strengthened their team of experts by adding experienced members to the working group, with the specific goal of verifying the accuracy of the steps, as well as ensuring product quality on the 737 production line. Brooke Vathior, Alaska Airlines Vice President of Audit Programs, emphasized that over the past year, the company's leadership has continuously worked closely with key leaders at Boeing. They have spent a lot of time carefully evaluating Boeing's improvement plans and sharing valuable experiences and best practices related to the safety management system. At the same time, Alaska Airlines continues to closely monitor the progress of the improvements, ensuring that every effort is directed toward improving safety and quality standards in aircraft manufacturing. This systematic and decisive action not only demonstrates Alaska Airlines' responsibility to protect the safety of its passengers, but also affirms its commitment to building a reliable and sustainable aviation environment. In addition to oversight from the FAA, our visits to Spirit Aerosystems in Wichita, which makes the fuselage, and the Boeing factory in Renton, have allowed us to directly observe the ongoing improvements and offer an additional second set of eyes, Vethuer wrote. Our audit team is actively engaged with Boeing's production quality and control systems. By walking the factory floor and interacting with management and frontline employees, we have fostered transparency and openness, providing us with the necessary information and access to execute our oversight activities. The airline has also bolstered the quality assurance and monitoring team at Boeing's Renton Manufacturing Facility by adding three experienced aircraft maintenance and inspection specialists. These specialists, known as Aircraft Acquisition Representatives, AAR, work directly at Boeing's facility five days a week. They work on a rotating basis and are always on call to ensure that all inspections are conducted in strict compliance with Alaska Airlines' highest standards. The presence of AAR at the Renton facility not only enhances oversight, but also adds an extra layer of quality assurance to new aircraft. So, after all, does Alaska still have enough trust in the American aircraft manufacturer? But before we go any further, if you are new, please support us by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Now let's continue. Despite the challenges of the partnership, Alaska Airlines remains optimistic about Boeing's continued efforts to improve its manufacturing processes and its commitment to quality. Brooke Vathuer, Alaska's Vice President of Audit Programs, shared that the airline has developed a detailed plan to conduct more visits to Boeing facilities in 2025. These visits are not only to continue to thoroughly inspect new aircraft, but also to maintain transparency and close coordination between the two parties. In addition, Alaska Airlines plans to expand its oversight to the Boeing 787 Dreamliner production line at its North Charleston, South Carolina plant. This is part of the airline's long-term strategy to ensure that every new aircraft delivered meets the most rigorous safety and performance standards while preparing for future fleet expansion. Safety is not just a policy. It is our core value that guides our actions every single day, Vathiwar said. Each of us plays a role in maintaining the safety for each other and our guests. Thank you for your ongoing commitment to safety and your dedication and pride toward ensuring our aircraft are safe and our operations are reliable. 
In a development related to the 737 family, on January 7th, RIA News Agency reported that a Boeing 737 belonging to Uter Airline was forced to make an emergency landing at Vnukovo Airport in Moscow. The incident occurred while the plane was flying from St. Petersburg to Samarkand, Uzbekistan. With 173 passengers on board, the crew decided to turn back after discovering a serious technical problem related to the plane's stabilizer. Despite the tense situation, fortunately, all passengers and crew landed safely. Uttar Airlines has confirmed the initial cause of the incident, but neither they nor Vnukovo Airport have made any official comments on the incident. Currently, authorities are investigating to clarify further details. Notably, this is not the only emergency landing incident that has occurred in the first month of the new year. Just days earlier, on January 3rd, a Ural Airlines Airbus A321 also suffered a serious incident and was forced to make an emergency landing at Sharm El Sheikh Airport in Egypt. The incident occurred just 10 minutes after takeoff when the crew discovered a technical problem with the engine. The aircraft, carrying 236 passengers and crew, landed safely and all passengers were quickly evacuated without any casualties. These consecutive incidents once again highlight the vital importance of regular technical maintenance, thorough preparation before each flight, and the ability of the crew to respond quickly in emergency situations. In a context where the aviation industry is constantly facing pressure on safety and performance, these incidents are also a wake-up call for the responsibility of airlines and regulators to ensure maximum safety for passengers. This includes not only close monitoring of technical standards, but also investment in training in incident handling skills for crew and related departments.